Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel if you are new. Today I'm going to be showing you how to edit brushes in Abyss Paint X. This also allows you to make sort of custom brushes which I think is really neat. So firstly you're going to want to grab up your brush menu which is right here. I'm going to be changing my colour quickly and I'm going to unlock all the paint brushes with an advert so I'll see you after that. Alright, so I'm going to quickly change the colour here to a lighter green. So you're going to want to go into your brush menu as I said earlier and have a look at all the different brushes and pick one that you like. So I'm just going to click this one which is random. And right away you can see all the different options for editing. The start is pretty simple, it is thickness of start and thickness of end. This right here is the start, so it controls how very thick that is, and this is the end. The opacity means how see-through it is. With fade, you can do this, and you can see that there's different options for the force fade out. There are different blurring shapes. You have to figure out how much blue that you want in different parts so you can decide that. It does completely change how the brush looks though so you can sort of make them your custom ones. I'm going to quickly reset this so we can have a look at the rest of the settings properly. Down with shape is pretty self-explanatory but you can choose some brush patterns here which I think is really neat. And you can choose how much you want the pattern to be, you can choose the saturation, and you can choose if you want it to be desaturated a bit. You can choose the starting angle, which I think is really neat, but it doesn't quite work for these sort of more flat brushes. There are a bunch of different options here, which I will do a bigger video on at some point, but I'm just going through the absolute basics at this. With dot, it just, as you can see here, changes it from being completely normal to being almost pixelated. With jitter, it just shifts it about automatically. And we then use jitter position. This just makes the brush jump around a bit, as you can see here, which I think has a really nice effect. There are more jitter options here, including patterns and the colours that you want. But I will get into these in a different video. With type, you have mono, which is just normal, then water, which is a watercolour sort of effect, and double, which is just twice of what you would have. There are different settings depending on the type of brush that you choose, and I will be doing more in depth videos on these at some point soon. I reset it to make it easier to see out by here. With dynamic, this is all to do with how quickly and how much press you're putting into this. The pressure only works with a pressure-sensitive screen and stylus, which I don't have, so I can't speak for those. But I think that basically controls how much pressure you put on will equal how thick it is, and the same for the others. This is essentially the same. If you do quicker, then it will be thicker. Same with the opacity and the blurring. Then there's the very last part, which is settings, which is minimum thickness and maximum thickness. Minimum basically decides how thick it can be at its very lowest compared to the rest of the brush. So that's the same with the maximum. You can rename these brushes if you want, so you can have a better idea of which one it is. You can change the blending mode too if you want to make it a brush just like a layer mode. For example, I could just make this an add brush and then it would act like it's on an add layer. Then you click reset if you want to completely change everything, but if not it will auto save. I would add this to custom though because it is just good to keep it there. I'm going to reset mine, but that is how you edit brushes in Abyss Paint X. I hope that you found this helpful, and if you did, maybe consider leaving a like, commenting, or subscribing. Thank you for watching.